Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we continue our solar system series. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the star of Sirius to the solar system to see what it might do and what effects it might have on planets and everything that goes on within our solar system. So we did run a poll in our community tab and it seems that we did have a tie actually, at least at the time of making this video. The results are tied between Sirius joins the solar system and the forgotten moons of Uranus. Today's video is going to be about Sirius. Many of you will know that Sirius is actually a binary system. So what I thought we'd do is we'd start perhaps quite a long way out. So let's say about one tenth of the light year. That sounds like a nice sort of figure. Let's put Sirius out at one tenth of the light year and Sirius B which as you may know is called the pop isn't it Sirius being the dog star and, and Sirius B being the pop orbits the main star about 15 to I think as many as 80 astronomical units from each other so we can put that in as well so there we have the Sirius system the two stars there let's just have a quick look at them in orbit around each other so we're about one tenth of a light year away now from the solar system which you can see is there let's have a look at what Sirius system has done to our solar system and we can see the giant planets seem to be pretty normal don't they Jupiter going around at around 5 AU from the Sun don't seem to be too bothered do they so we can see here it's nightfall on planet earth and then slowly dawn starts to break and and there we go there's the Sirius stars which is quite interesting it's remember about one tenth of a light year away and we can see the Sirius stars there shining with our sun in daylight which would be the case let's just have a look at what apparent brightness the Sirius stars would be from 0.1 light years away from our system so Sirius is about 24.7 solar luminosities as you can see there but we look at the luminosity of Sirius B of course there is some degree of luminosity there but it's negligible in terms of the actual brightness of the Sirius system and from 0.1 light years away it would be about as it says there about minus 11 0.31 parent magnitudes in the sky we can see just there on the horizon the Sirius stars which would be very very bright of course and not quite as bright as the full moon but certainly bright enough to shine during the day all day and all night so that's at 0.1 light years and uh, as I say not really much affecting the system what we need to do perhaps is move the star a bit closer now let's start a new simulation let's move the Sirius stars closer this time how about about Sirius approaches our system let's go for 500 astronomical units shall we which is still a fair way away but certainly a lot closer than 0.1 light years uh, which is more like 6000 AU and then the Sirius B star will put there fairly close in and, and let's see what happens shall we so let's just speed the time up a little bit so far not a lot's happened it's like Jupiter and Saturn are, are pretty much following their, their usual orbits in you know, the planets even Sedna's not really affecting it yet so let's just speed up in case something might happen because sometimes the gravitational effects do take a while to play out and as we can see the Sirius stars still uh, in the local area although there does appear now to be some sort of divergence of Sedna doesn't there and certainly this object here which is C1906 E1 does certainly appear to have been captured by the Sirius stars in fact there's quite a lot going on in the system now isn't there so let's just let's just zoom in so at 500 AU and yeah we can see that the, the system's been skewed completely hasn't it by Sirius now at 500 astronomical units let's zoom out a little bit and Saturn is flying out Neptune and Pluto Sirius being a much more massive star than our Sun of course is going to have an influence everything is actually getting pulled in now by the dog star even our Sun coming in for a, an orbit there and then there we go Many of the dwarf planets, Gong Gong has, has certainly been thrown out of the system into interstellar space. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So the planets all over the place. Possible that the, the inner planets are still intact. Let's just have a quick look a bit closer in. It, yeah, it does appear that it's possible that the, that the inner worlds, Venus has become the closest planet to the sun. 
The inner planets are still there, they've just been skewed out a little bit. Jupiter's been thrown out, but seems to be stabilizing itself again. Uranus migrating inwards, Saturn still doesn't seem to know where it wants to go, and Neptune has been thrown all over the place. Probably prefers to have Sirius as its home, maybe. Yeah, we're coming in for another orbit now. There goes our Sun, Neptune thrown out again. Though Sirius itself seems to be okay, doesn't it? The Pup and the Sirius A star seem to have held on to each other. So that's Sirius at 500 AU. Well, I'd look at the big pink Neptune up now. That's quite interesting, isn't it? How the blue world has been acquired by Sirius now. That Neptune's been thrown out into a huge orbit there from Sirius. We see the habitable zone there of Sirius star. There's certainly nothing in it at the moment. There's the sun coming in again. Eris seems to have been thrown out of our system now. And there you go, Sirius has pretty much destroyed our system at 500 AU. So really just a brief look what might happen. The dog star should join our system and obviously it's certains for all life on planet Earth. There's no doubt about that. Although surely after many, many, perhaps millions of years, possibly even billions, the, the two systems will eventually organize themselves out although of course what we must bear in mind with Sirius is that the A star being an A type it's at the top end of the A type as well an A0 A1 star isn't going to be spending that long on the main sequence so we've got maybe 500 million years left before Sirius A leaves the main sequence so any stability that the stars would find wouldn't again probably be thrown out into chaos again when Sirius it does expand and becomes quite a large red giant star certainly at least the size of Arcturus probably larger as well for the Sirius A star so there you go that's what might happen Uranus has been completely thrown out now off into the void it's got going roughly in the same direction as Pluto both off into the void maybe going to visit a nearby star somewhere just make you think doesn't it really do it? this must happen on you know not possibly that often but certainly stars do come by each other with relative frequency in the galaxy much more in the center of the galaxy where the density is a lot higher of course so when you think that this interaction between the sun and Sirius has caused utter chaos in our solar system that's it's still at quite a large distance really at 500 astronomical units it's not like they're right next to each other and Pluto and Uranus they're chucked off into probably into interstellar space uh, by the look of those trajectories there and what that means of course is that they become rogue planets and they're just basically orbiting the Milky Way with no parent star so you, it does make you wonder just how many rogue worlds there could be out there traveling the voids you know between stars uh, Sedna seems to have decided it's going to join the Sirius system by the looks of things, certainly speeding. And there's Neptune, look, Neptune's followed a wandering path, hasn't it? But it's certainly uh, still gravitationally bound there to Sirius. Let's see what happens to Neptune, shall we? Uh, there she blows around the Sirius stars and, and off again. Although it's probably still gravitationally bound. Perhaps Uranus can still be caught. We don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We could do a few more of these if you've enjoyed it. It's quite a straightforward video for me to make. Look after yourselves. Take care of your friends and your family as well. And I'll see you on the next one.